so if you if you're going at that fundamental speed that there's no time there's no distance actually either all the distances shrink to zero so it's it's a what I'm trying to say is it's a fundamental part of the structure of space and time. So it's literally impossible in Einstein's theory to go at the speed of light unless you're massless, in which and case you have to go at the speed of light. Can, could you go just under the speed of light and then time yes. would just slow down? Yes. So it wouldn't, you wouldn't, it wouldn't stop, but it would slow. Yeah. Yeah, so as I said, 99.999999% gives you a factor of 7,000. Now, here's the question. If you somehow or another were able to go 99.999% of the speed of light, what would happen in your perspective as far as time? Would, would time... Normal rate. At a normal rate? Yeah. So you would age at a normal rate in your perspective. Yes. But back home, like if you came back around, if you went out in the space and you went 10 years at the speed of light and, you know, you, you came back, everything it would, it would change, but you'd be exactly the same. Yes. Uh, what would change for you, though, something has to change. So it's the distances. Uh, their time's passing 7,000 times more slowly uh, from the perspective of someone stood on the ground watching them go round. But from their perspective, time's going at the same rate, but something must change. So what is it? It's the distance. So the LHC is no longer 16 miles in circumference. It's about, now I know the number in metric, so it's four meters. So distances shrink from the perspective of the protons. So time passes at the same rate, the, the, the normal rate for them from, on their watch, but the distances seem to, seem to shrink, or do shrink, not seem to, they do.